So, as a lot of you guys know, I actually enjoy using Dehancer. And they transformed their app to now include video. Now the Dehancer app can actually edit photo and video. You have nearly all the same features in the mobile app as you do on the desktop version. It's actually compatible with both iPhone and iPad. And when you use this app, you're not just getting any nice looking filters. You're getting actual looks that are based on actual film stocks that took years of research performed by Dehancer and their team. This goes for both their film stocks and their film prints. Now one of the things that I did notice is that they don't have their camera converter included in the mobile app that they do on the desktop plugin, which is a bummer, but there is a workaround for that. So what I did, I actually imported my images into DaVinci Resolve. Then I actually did a CST, converted them into Rec. 709, and then exported them, and then brought them into Dehancer so I can actually use them on their film stock and film prints. I know that's a long workaround, but for right now, it's really one of the only choices we have unless you shoot directly straight out of the camera, which most of the times I don't. So let's hop into Dehancer and I can show you what this app is about. Okay guys, so when you open up Dehancer, the first thing you're going to see is their preset page. And I love this page because what they do is they actually pair a lot of their film stocks with their film prints. Like right here, we have the Cine Steel 50D with the Kodak glossy paper. Then we go down. We have the Kodak Vision 3 250D paired with the 2383 film print. Now, they have more and more of these. Like, let me see right here. Fujifilm Eternal Vivid paired with the Kodak Glossy Paper. I mean, the list is keep going on. Let's say you like this. Let's say you like your Eternal, your Eternal film stock, but you want to edit it into your own liking. We can click Edit. As you can see, it brings us to the um, source page. And right here we can actually uh, fix our exposure but the first thing I'm gonna do before then I'm gonna go over to print then I'm gonna change their film print right now we're in the linear mode but I'm gonna go down to actually our 2383 and I like that a lot better but let's see how it look with the Fujifilm 3513 go back to 2383 then I'm gonna go back to source I'm gonna bring this up just a bit change my tint so I can actually I'm uh, sorry change my temperature because I want to warm my image up then change my tint just a little bit and as you can see you go over the film you have all their film stocks right here literally you have all of them you have the same ones that you do in the desktop version now developer that's actually pretty new so I'm gonna just go over and I'm increase my contrast because I do like a more contrast image gamma correction I guess that's actually fixing um, the luminous values in this. And like I said, this is all new right here. Um, this is just came out probably within like the last 24, 48 hours. Let's go over to compression. I really don't use this, um, but right here you have your white point. Like I said, I really don't use it a lot. You have your tonal range. I like it just messing with the highlights right here. Um, Go over to a span. This is like your black points and your white points. This is like the darkest part of your image and the brightest part of your image. Let's say I want to make my image just a tad bit darker. And now I'm going to use my white points just to bring it up just a little bit more. We can do that. Then we go over to, sorry, that's span. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to say. So um, if you want to dis disable any of these effects, all you have to do is just click on it and then click again. And that's how you disable it because when I actually bring my image to the Dehancer, I usually disable my grain, and that's how you do it. Let's go over to color head, and right here we can change our RGB values for our yellow, magenta, and cyan. So let's say if I don't make this just a little bit more yellow, and make this just a little bit magenta, and add some red here, we can do that. But if I do that, I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of green. And I can say because I like my color separation. And let's go in halation. As you can see, just like in desktop version, all these are actually already activated. So let's say um, you go into halation and you like what you use, but you want to um, actually just bring it down a little bit. You could do that. 
you can change the impact so it's not so strong. Same thing with Bloom. And I actually like the Bloom effect, but I don't like it to actually like overtake my image. As you can see, there you go. But um, so I'm gonna actually bring it back just a little bit so it's not so strong. Same thing with Vignette. You turn it off, that's how it look without it. You turn it back on, that's how it is. So let's say you actually, um, let's say you actually like what you created and you want to save it. What we we'll do is we we'll go to presets and we'll go to save. Then we go right here and you can name it to almost anything you want. And then you hit save, boom. And then it's actually saved right here in your presets along with their um, presets that are made by Dehancer and a lot of other creators. Now let's say you want to export your image. You go right here and you go to full res and you just hit save to gallery and then you're starting to export it straight to your iPad. Now, I think Dehancer did an amazing job with this app, especially when it comes to video, because we can actually create our own looks right here in Dehancer and then export that image so we can actually bring it into Resolve or any other of our NLEs. And then we have like our base color grade right there already done and it looks amazing. Now, I hope you guys like this. And if you have any questions, just please free, feel free to let me know. Let's say you're looking to create a look or a LUT that you can actually use to monitor when you're shooting an F-Log or RAW video. You could do that with this app. Like I said, you could work around by exporting your video on Rec. 709 from DaVinci Resolve and bring it into your Dehancer app on your iPad, choose your film stock and your film print, do minor adjustments, export that look, and then bring that look onto your monitor, and boom, you have a full-blown LUT or look that you can use to monitor with. I think that will come in clutch and I will probably start using that on my own production. Like I have a music video that I'm planning to shoot and I will probably go about that to create a certain workflow or a certain color grade that I want my video to look like. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions just leave a comment below but before you go smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.